All right, so I want to do something new and do some self-hosting. I've never really done it before. And I have a MacBook that I'm not using. And what I want to do is store photos locally. And so I have a few things. Um, this is a hard drive, just like a regular spinning hard drive that I got from my desktop that's down there. I never got to installing it. And this is like an enclosure that can theoretically take it. Um, but yeah, what I want to do is host images, kind of like Google Photos, but for myself. I did some research, took some notes on what kind of software I want to use. Kind of came down to Photo Prism or Photo Structure. Uh, but it looks like Photo Structure can't handle like live photos or videos. Um, natively, whereas Photo Prism can. Well, Photo Prism said, didn't say that they can't, whereas Photo Structure did. So uh, we're gonna try that out um, on this laptop. First things first, let's move this stuff aside and see what we got here. I've opened this up already before, so I ordered it a long time ago, but it's a six terabyte. Western Digital Black. Should be pretty good. And then in here, some sort of adapter. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, Reach Tech, I don't know, I was, on, I was on Amazon. So let's try to open this up. So this is it, you put your hard drive into there and supposedly screw it on the bottom. It needs to be powered. Cable uh, plugs into USB C and made sure to get that with USB C since my laptop takes only USB C. So let's plug this in. just slots into here. Comes with a little screw driver. I thought about having this set up in the cloud, but I think there's something nice about being able to host your own hardware. And I have nothing else planned for this laptop. Alright, I got my own screwdriver because that one's a little tough to work with because it's so small. But these holes also don't line up properly, so that also makes it a little difficult. So it looks like two extra screws are included. Comes with a little stand. Okay, so let's change this out. I don't think I need that stand to be honest with you. So my plan is to have this thing on at all times and then whenever I want to see my photos or upload it, connect to it through the network. Okay, so that 
goes in there. That can go in here. And then just turn it on. Let's see what happens. Okay, so maybe I need to do some disk utility. Well, I guess because it's only going to be using Mac, I can just do Mac OS. Hopefully, Photo Prism doesn't care. Right, so now I got a massive hard drive connected. Six terabytes. Let's get Photo Prism installed on this computer. And I think I need Docker with it. Install Docker because I don't think I have it on here already. No. Download our Docker Compose example for Mac OS. Right click, save as. Just put it on the desktop. Yeah. Don't prove them. Okay. Increase your Docker memory limit to four gigs. How do we do that? And this some resources settings resources memory four. Oh, we have eight. Disk image size. Okay. Looks fine. Okay, since the app is running inside your container, you have to explicitly mount the host folders you want to use. PhotoPrism won't be able to see folders that haven't been mounted. That's an important security feature. PhotoPrism Originals. The Originals folder contains your fo original photo and video files. You can mount any folder except from the host, including or share additional. Yeah, okay. Storage folder is used to save SQLite config. Storage folder mount. Yep. Okay, let's try that. So I think what we need to do is edit that Docker Compose. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I figured it out. In the Docker Compose file, what you actually want to do is where it says original down here, 
um, not here. For the volumes, uh, what you want to do is put your absolute path, which I have moved to my hard drive, and then the path inside Docker, which you know you can leave alone with your defaults. So that's what that colon's for. And then now I've already ran Docker Compose up. Um, that was successful. So let's just check it out on our local system. It's a three, four, no, two, four, two, three, four, two. Just log in. It work? No. Okay. Type the right password. Uh, it looks like no photos are here, but let's upload a picture. I have a picture of a cat on my desktop. So I'll upload it there. So now it's here. Um, if you look in folders, it's there. Let's see if it shows up inside of our hard drive now in originals. Yeah. So that's where it's going to be saved. I'm not sure why it's not showing up in the searches, but maybe it just needs to re-index or something. Um, so that works. And then let's just to see what it looks like on my phone. Uh, use ngrok. Obviously, you don't want to do this. Oops, you don't want to do this um, in real life. This is just a test. Actually, maybe I'm. Gonna, yeah, it's already running here. Okay, so on my phone. Cool, so I see the cat in here. Nice. So it looks like we're all set up. Obviously I need to change the admin password and username um, and then get it off Engrok, but theoretically I got my setup going. Now I'm just gonna find a place to put this laptop and the hard drive where it won't get in the way of my desk. But awesome, thanks for watching everyone.